It happened. They finally announced it. What does the tease mean and why has Gaming Showcase been delayed nearly two months after the usual April showcases we've had in the past? Is it to close the gap between this and Meta Connect so they can tease some other things too? But first, some housekeeping. My last video was unscripted and emotional and purely down to my dislike of seeing talented VR developers kicked to the curb. But if we remove emotion from Meta's recent decisions, in the past six months business-wise, they don't seem to be able to do anything wrong. Removing all emotion, business is booming. Meta has been flailing since Apple caused a huge blow to the data factory, with their stock price hitting a low of $88 in November of last year. Since then, they've been on the rebound and fast. Layoffs are obviously terrible news, but in the business world, layoffs can get shareholders excited. When Mark Zuckerberg talked about the year of efficiency, that was aimed at the shareholders. And as this comes into fruition, the share price has been flying, almost recovering fully from its initial downturn. This is positive in the sense that Meta has returned to its former glory financially. Gone are the days when Meta had lost a quarter of a trillion dollars from its market cap. But what does this mean for Reality Labs? I think it allows them to continue investing in VR without hesitancy and without anyone questioning it. Plan has always been that they'll see around the decade of losses in this department, and with the ads business heavily profitable, and operating costs to dip in after the costly layoffs of course. Reality Labs isn't going anywhere. So what does this mean for the Meta Gaming Showcase? Before we speculate, here's some updates from the world of VR. Triangle Factory have been teasing a significant update to Breaches with their competitive mode well into the works, but they've tempered expectations on a release saying that they'll spend the right amount of time before releasing it. They also showed a sneak peek of a new map which looks incredible and also teased a new game mode in development. If you haven't played it yet and are on the fence, I did a video about it you can check out. Propagation Paradise Hotel is out now, and one of Dev Studio sent me an early copy to check out so I've already been playing through it. Look out for my review within the next day or two. You're not going to want to miss this, so make sure to subscribe for that. Pistol Whip have put out a new scene as part of the Overdrive season. Shred will be one of five scenes put out monthly for Overdrive, and it seems as good a time as any to dust off those John Wick skills. Qualcomm have been working with virtual desktop creator Gee and seem to have created effectively DLSS for VR headsets. Snapdragon game super resolution. This isn't exclusive to Quest and seems to be a virtual desktop exclusive for now. It seems to do a great job of upscaling and coupled with all these other fancy tricks we've been seeing lately. I expect we've still to see some of the best looking games on Quest 2 yet. Which brings us nicely back around to the big announcement. Meta's gaming showcase for 2023 as I'm sure you've already heard is coming on June 1st at 10am Pacific, 6pm GMT. The announcement was accompanied with this little teaser video. It's obviously something to do with Asgard's Wrath, the PC VR only Oculus published game. But consensus seems split, it's either a sequel set in Egypt or a whole new game in the same universe. I've also heard chatter of this being Meta's big first party VR MMO, which seems a bit out there but one can hope. The real question is will they be showing anything that's meant for the Quest 3? Is this why it's been delayed by more than a month? Is this the beginning of a marketing campaign heading towards a Quest 3 release at Meta Connect? Will it tease a silhouette as they have in the past with the Quest Pro? We have Ghostbusters, GTA San Andreas, Behemoth from Skydance Interactive and so much more no idea about from all these acquired studios. There's a lot of unknowns, however what we do know is that it'll be 40 minutes long. I'm not sure if this includes the 15 minute pre-showcase segment or not, which is new this year. Plus, we'll also have post-showcase developer roundtables, so there's a whole bunch for us to get our teeth stuck into. And by comparison, the past two showcases have only run for 25 minutes. Either way, we get a lot of game announcements and teasers, or maybe they're providing extra time to do a Quest 3 segment. They usually show games which will be releasing within the next year, while well, Quest 3 should be releasing in the next six months. It's very exciting exciting stuff and Meta have a lot of making up to do after the layoffs, they need to impress. Let me know your own speculation in the comments below. How likely is it that we see Quest 3, a hardware product, in a software gaming showcase? And what games are you expecting to be announced? Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the other side.